everybody. Welcome back. And I just want to thank everybody for all of the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscriptions. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I haven't had a chance to really go through the comments, but um, I've gone through some of them. But if I go through and just put a heart, I just want you to know that I have read it. I have read it and I have um, just acknowledging, you know, the comment. I may not have time to, to give a lengthy or in-depth response, but I want you to know that I've seen it and I appreciate it. My phone ringing. Sorry, guys. So we're going to do a collective reading from Aries through, Pis through Pisces. Who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you? And what I mean by that is like energetically coming towards you. They may not be physically coming towards you, but they're thinking about you. They're in your energy field. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. Aries. Look, who's coming towards Aries for the month of November? Who's coming towards Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Here we go, guys. We've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, more than likely, Cancer or Pisces. Um, somebody's wanting to come towards you that feels like you are very loving they see success with you um they could po quite possibly be drinking and i feel like you are moving towards success but they are right behind you they are they are wanting to follow you wherever you go i feel like they think that they can have like the ultimate happiness with you i feel like for some some of you they want to marry you we have the the one cup that the queen is holding here the nine of cups here ten of cups is like marriage real commitment stability and the chariot is moving forward successfully here so i feel like that's who's coming towards aries for the month of november let's see Who's coming towards Taurus for the month of November? Who's coming towards Taurus? It's like we have an Aries, Scorpio, Leo um, feel coming towards Taurus for the month of November. We have somebody here that is going through a major shift with the tower being present here. Somebody's trying to make a choice on which path to take, okay? They want to come in as the king of wands and offer something very creative, very passionate, very loving with you. Okay, Taurus? That's who's coming towards you. Who's coming towards Gemini? for the month of November. Who's coming towards Gemini? Sun card, two of pentacles, two of swords. We have a Leo, we have Capricorn, Libra energy, okay? Somebody is wanting the ultimate happiness with you, but right now, they're having to get balance in their life and they're trying to make this decision. They're trying to decide what exactly it is that's going to make them happy. But I feel like they know what's going to make them happy because they're looking right at this, this sun right here. And that's the ultimate happiness. I feel like that is, um, that is who is coming towards you. Somebody that's looking to be happy with you. All right, Gemini. Cancer. Who's coming towards Cancer for the month of November? Who's coming towards Cancer? Cancer. Soulmate. Soulmate. Somebody that feels like you are the one. 
and we have Cancer, Scorpio, Libra here, okay? Those are the energies that are present. Somebody that you have possibly known for a very, very long time and possibly many lifetimes, okay? But somebody is having a hard time deciding here what to do with this connection, okay? That's who's coming towards Cancer. Who's coming towards Leo? Who's coming towards Leo? Oh, oh, I got cars jumping out over here, guys. Put those back. Who's coming towards Leo? Maybe another Leo, an Aries fire sign for sure is in Leo's um, energy right now. We have someone that's trying to keep themselves actually from coming towards you, but they definitely see victory with you, okay? But they are trying to restrain themselves from this love, Leo, and that is who is coming towards you. You guys know who these people are, I'm sure, for most of you. All right, let's see who's coming towards Virgo. Who's coming towards Virgo in love for November? Who's coming towards Virgo? We have the Death card, the Five of Cups, and the Magician. We have Scorpio here. We have um, Gemini here, and may possibly another Virgo here. But somebody is very, very regretful. Somebody that's very regretful over the things that they have done or you have done. Um, somebody here is going through a transformation as well. And they are trying to use their the law of attraction to bring in the things that they want. They are trying to manifest something here with you, I feel. But they're going to have to stand in the power of the magician because right now they are the five of cups to focus on things that have happened in the past here. Okay. They haven't completed that transformation. All right, Virgo. Let's see. Who's coming towards Libra for the month of November in love? Libra. Who's coming towards Libra? Taurus, another Libra, water sign, earth sign, okay? Somebody that's very immature, I'll say that. Um, they, and they could quite possibly be younger than you, but um, I feel like it's a maturity thing here, is what I feel. I feel like they want to offer you something substantial. They want to they wanna offer you love. They also want to make an apology to you for whatever they have done here. They see you as the empress, I feel like. They see you as, like, the person that they, they would like to see themselves with, I feel like, Libra. Okay. Gotta plug my computer up, guys. Hang on one second. Okay, let's see who's coming towards Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio in love for the month of November? Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? You have Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius energy here coming towards Scorpio. Somebody that is fixated. Excuse me. Somebody that is very fixated on things that have happened in the past. Somebody that is very articulate, intelligent, um, but they are passionate about you. Um, they think about you all the time. They want to tell you they think about you all the time, but I feel like they have too much pride going on right now, Scorpio. Okay. Who's going on? What, who's coming towards Sagittarius for the month of November? 
with coming Taurus Sagittarius for the month of November. Sagittarius. What's coming Taurus Sagittarius? You have Libra, Virgo, Capricorn here coming towards Sagittarius. Somebody, somebody that was very, very heartbroken in the past. I feel like, you know, this is not something that just happened. This is something that, you know, happened um, probably two to nine months ago. And... Um, but there's still there's still remnants of that heartbreak here. They're trying to get themselves together. They're trying to find, um, you know, build up their self esteem, their self confidence, their money. They're trying to get themselves together here, okay. But they're still wanting to to offer or to be involved in this connection. I feel because they're still focused on what happened here, and I feel like they're still focused on you. Okay. This who's coming towards Capricorn? Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn in love for November? Capricorn in love for November. Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Here we go. Soulmate soulmate energy here um, somebody that you've known for a long time somebody that is um, that you have good memories with they have good memories of you they know that your love is something special right now um, they are in this mental prison of their own making because they are not bound to these swords actually this is something that they've created and it's probably because they're not coming towards you and need to say something they need to make a move here is what I feel I feel like that's why they're tracking their head is because they want to say something but they have not okay they need to grow up here okay let's see who's coming towards oh Okay, Aquarius. Look, Aquarius. What flipped out? Okay, Aquarius. Who's coming towards Aquarius in love? Another Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. <laughs> Who's coming towards you, Aquarius? Is somebody that's wanting you to come towards them? Basically, they're waiting on you. Okay, they are. They know that you are their star. That they love you. Okay, they're hung up over this connection. The fact that you guys are not together, and they're waiting on you to make an appearance here, Aquarius. Will you or won't you? It remains to be seen. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Pisces and love. Pisces for November. What's going on with Pisces? And all those cards just came out, and I'm going to take them. Pisces is the last one. Okay. So we have Leo. Oh, gosh. Leo, Gemini, Virgo. I mean, yeah, Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Okay. Oh, okay. Taurus, Capricorn energy here. All right, so Pisces, you have somebody here that is wanting a solid foundation with you, a solid commitment with you. And I feel like they weren't strong enough before, but now they are really trying to manifest this to make this happen with you, okay? Because now they see, they see the happiness, the sun shining with you, okay? That is who's coming towards you, Pisces. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. My computer just went dead, but it's okay. See ya.